Well, my name is Craig Curtis, City Manager, and uh, what I want to communicate through Let's Talk today is that we are making very, very deliberate uh, efforts to try and uh, advertise and encourage people to attend our budget open house on May the 21st from 4 to 8 p.m. And the objective of that open house, which will have some direct invitations and is open to the whole community, is to get a really clear idea as to where the community's priorities are, where you want more, where you want less, and there is a specific survey on what community amenities the community thinks is missing uh, and uh, what should be our priorities because we cannot meet all the requests we're getting. We have a, a fairly limited budget so in the light of that we need to know where should our dollars be focused and that's the purpose of the meeting. What we're also trying to communicate through a series of uh, brochures and uh, media events is our construction program for 2014. We have the biggest uh, road and uh, infrastructure uh, program that we've had in the history of the city. Uh, some major projects were postponed from our centennial year last year, so in 2014 we'll see some significant construction projects which are all growth related, all building blocks for growth, which has been the theme of our budget. So we have a major new construction with the extension of 67th Street and 30th Avenue, a new roundabout at the intersection. Uh, we have major work on 55th Street with underground services and resurfacing, as well as Ross Taylor amendments, which will provide for better traffic flow and access into river Riverlands. So it's a uh, huge number of projects, as well as our normal crown paving and uh, pothole repair. So uh, it's a very significant road infrastructure budget. We know it's going to cause uh, disruption we know it's going to cause problems, but in the long term we believe it will be really worth it because we need to recognize and accommodate growth because we'll be double the size likely in 18 to 20 years. Some misconceptions around the city's debt, and the city's debt is actually very responsible and uh, on a per capita basis using uh, similar dollars, we're actually carrying less debt today than we were in 1982. But our debt is primarily, the largest portion of it is infrastructure related on our services uh, like water and sewer so we have huge costs related to that watershed moment when we have to expand both our water and wastewater treatment plants that are happening simultaneously if we uh, put those directly onto the utility charges right now uh, then that would cause a huge spike which would go down over time so like a home mortgage what we do is we borrow at a very reasonable rate through the province and that cost of those those major expansions is spread over the lifetime of that expansion and over the users of that uh, uh, sewage and wastewater service. So uh, I, I believe that that's uh, our major area of debt. We've got some other areas that are debt financing, but overall we're only 45% of our, our debt limit and on the operational side uh, we're only 25%. So uh, in terms of our comparison with other cities, we're very responsible and uh, I think our debt is uh, very well managed.